Hi all, I am Antra Malik with my teammates Arpit Bhardwaj and Dipali Pandey going to present our project Personality Prediction System using AI and ML. So, Personality Prediction System is used to help people in organization and institution with leadership and teamwork. By developing this model, we can predict the personality of a person through their social media platforms. In recent years, social media such as Facebook, Twitter, and other social media platforms have become some of the most popular destination for internet users. These user activities on social network provide a great platform for researchers to study and understand their online behavior, preferences, and personalities. So basically, in our project, we predict the personality of a person using big five personality traits. Here, we used multiple algorithms like KNN, logistic regression, along with the hybrid model, consists of both KNN and logistic regression. We found that combination of these algorithms give better output and accuracy is about 98 to 99%. Hi, I am Dipali. Now I will explain big five personality traits. First, open to experience. It depicts that how much a person is open to traits like sensitivity, attentiveness, etc. Next, consciousness. It depicts state or characteristics of being conscious. Next, extroversion. It depicts that state or quality of being extrovert. Next, agreeableness. It depicts that quality of being agreeable and pleasing. Neurotesis. It depicts that quality of being affected by nervousness. Now, I would like to tell you about related work. In past, there have been many researches about the personality prediction that consists of usage of social media by user. In previous model, they consist of a single machine learning algorithm which, has, which was predicting personality of social media user with an accuracy of 70%. After few years, a research has been conducted using hybrid model consisting of two or more machine learning algorithm that was showing result accuracy much better than previous work. Now, Arpit will explain the methodology and implementation. Hi, I am Arpit Bhardwaj and now I will explain you how we implemented our project. So the first step of implementation consists of the data set. The data set that we chosen were was co collected from the website named Kegel. In, uh, in this data set, it was already pre-processed. So the pre-processing processes were already skipped in our project. Hence, our running time of model is greatly reduced. The second part we used were the machine learning algorithms. So the first machine learning algorithm that we used is K KNN algorithm, which also means the K nearest neighbor algorithm. So K nearest algorithm is a supervised learning technique, which depicts, uh, which depicts the uh, points that uh, lie around the, uh, lie around the graph so that it can predict the uh, type of collection, which is the part of the QI point is. And the second, uh, the second method we use is logistic regression. The logistic regression approach is used for the continuous result of in the range of zero to one, where zero and one is excluded, and it can also be used for binary results. So these two, uh, these two algorithms are used in our hybrid proposed me uh, methodology, which is an ensemble proposed algorithm. In this algorithm, we try to comprise two or more weaker models, which generate a uh, stronger model, which predict which predicts the result in a good manner. So uh, the final goal of our ensemble technique is to uh, to improve the result by some percentage, uh, like 90 to 95%. So we will be combining KNN and logistic regression algorithm. Uh, so I will now show you that how our project really works. So let me take you to the code that we designed. So uh, you can see here that the code is running. So the first uh, part of the code consists of all the libraries and uh, the uh, the libraries and all the methods that we use in our project. So here you can see there are NumPy, Pandas, and Matplotlib. So these uh, Python libraries have their functions. Uh, uh, here you can see we are also using the logistic regression library. So the first part of here in this code is that we have collected the data, which is a CSV file, and this data is then uh, th this data is then uh, pre-processed. 
And in the next part, here we clean the text, remove the URLs and the other text. And then it shows the words per personality user. So here you can see the INF, uh, INFFP has the most word usage in our personality prediction system. And these are some other linear models which will be used for uh, training the data set. Now in this in this section we will, we are introducing that what what are the uh, sixteen uh, what are the sixteen types of uh, personalities that are uh, that the model will be uh, predicting. And in this part this is the training data set here we are classifying the uh, classifying the personality in the training data set using the y and x shape. And now here the main algorithm models which are shown. So here you can see this is the first logistic regression model on the training data set. And the second one is a KNN and the third one is the hybrid model, which is a, which is the uh, ensemble uh, technique of the uh, logistic regression and KNN method. So the results that we have shown here are at the far furthermost part. Uh, here, here are the results. So here you can see that the training data set has a personal, has a uh, prediction accuracy of 91% and testing data set has a person, uh, the uh, prediction at the rate of 17.83 percentage. Now there are five uh, personality models, the big five personality model where we are uh, presenting our result. So the result for openness is uh, KNN predicts the openness 83.63 percentage. Logistic regression uh, predicts the with accuracy of 77.23 percentage. And here you can see that hybrid model predicts the value with 99.1 percent. So you can see that all these uh, in all these results, there are uh, the hybrid model is the best performing model, which is having uh, the uh, result of 98 to 99 percentage accuracy. Now for generating the image that we will be using in our generation of the, the uh, personality type, I am showing you my code uh, since this code takes a long time in running. So uh, I have already run the code and saved it on my GitHub account. So here you can see that this is the same code and this is the same output we have. So this code, uh, this part uh, shows that what INTJ personality uh, uh, really are. So it shows that they are the person who are having the personality of our, uh, someone who is, uh, who is like architect kind of personality. And these are the words that they generally use like one way, filmy, type, time, and no. These are the words that are generally used by architect. Now the second type is, uh, INTP, which is uh, which depicts the category of logician, and these are the words that they use. So these uh, there are sixteen kinds of uh, other uh, personality traits like ENTJ and all other things that we have shown in this part of our project. So this uh, this or uh, this is the result part which I am showing you in my presentation. Now I will take you to the take you to the conclusion of our project. So this is conclusion part. So in this project, we have uh, concluded that using hybrid models uh, are way better than using a single model for uh, predicting the personality of a user. And uh, they, the future works, uh, uh, future work which can be done in this field is like they can use other algorithms uh, other than KNN and logistic regression to offer a high prediction and classification result. And furthermore, the, there can be other ensemble and uh, ensemble techniques like boosting and uh, boosting and trapping, which can be used. Uh, further to uh, improve the results that we have shown. Now it is a pictorial. Uh, now it is a pictorial representation of graph, which we, which uh, this table shows that what we achieved in our project. So here you can see that KNN was uh, uh, showing the result with 83, 88, 78, 77, and 60 percentage of accuracy, whereas logistic regression was showing the result with 77.23, 86.03, 63.53, 60, and 77 percentage of uh, model. And here you can see that the hybrid model predicts the personality by 99, 99.98 percentage. So it clearly shows that uh, the, our hybrid model is best performing in all these three models. Now, these are some references that we have took. So you can check them uh, later in this PPT. And that's all from our side. Thank you very much from my side and my team.